Okay, yesterday we learned about amazing birds. Then we learned about conjunctions, determiners, and pronouns. I hope everything was clear to you yesterday and I hope you did your homework yesterday. Everybody did their homework yesterday? Show me your thumbs up. Okay. Okay, all right. What about everybody else? Okay, good. Today we will learn about long vowel sounds. Please turn to page 38 in your books. Page 38, lesson number three, long vowel sounds. A long vowel sound says the name of the vowel, A, E, I, O, U. Now, there are some pictures that are given over here. Kite, cake, number nine, then a book, a rope, rice, mobile phone, home. Uh, then there is a boy also. So we have to recognize the middle vowel sound, A, I, and O, on these pictures. Okay? So I'm going to read every option. You have to write in the chat box what vowel sound is in the middle. Everybody got it? For example, the first picture, picture number, picture A is kite. So the middle vowel is I. Okay. So I am going to read the pictures for you and you will tell me what is the middle vowel sound. Okay. Everybody got it? Show me your thumbs up if you have got this. Okay. Okay, Rema. Okay, Abdullah. Okay, Sharzain. Okay. Okay, Temur. Okay, so we, we will start now. Picture B is cake. What is the middle vowel in cake? Write in the chat box. Very good. The middle vowel is A. Okay. Picture C, book. What is the middle vowel in book? Very good, Shazain. Very good, Abdullah. Rema, very good. Jessica, very good. Hurya, very good, Arifa. Ramesha, very good. Yeah, good job. Okay, what is the middle vowel in picture D? Rice, rice, good Abdullah, good Charzain, good Arifa. The middle vowel is I, the middle vowel is I. Very good Rahila, Temur, Abneer, very good, very good. Okay, now picture E, home, home. Very good, Hurya. Very good, Abhishek. Very good, Jonathan. Uh, John Matthew, sorry. Very good, Abiel. Yes, good job. That's great. That's okay. Picture G, nine. What is the middle vowel in nine? I, very good. Good job. Good job, everyone. What is the middle vowel in picture H? Boy. Boy, good, good, very good. <clears throat> Excellent, very good. Now, what is the middle vowel in picture I? Rope, 
Very good, Hosanna. Very good, Abhishek. Very good, Abni. Very good, Abdullah. Rahila, very good. John, very good. Basit, Rema, good job. Good job. Okay. Now, uh, what is the middle vowel in picture J? Mobile or phone? Yeah, you can say phone. O, oh, very good. Excellent, everyone. You did a great job. I'm so happy that you are getting it. So, So a, each picture has a middle vowel, okay? And uh, it has, each picture has E in the end also. Come to exercise two, silent E. How many children knows about silent E? How many children knows about silent E? You can show me your thumbs up. Okay. I will tell you about silent E. <clears throat> Listen and say the word pairs. How does the silent E change the sound of the vowel? For example, in the picture, there are two boys standing, Sam and Tim. Can you see Sam and Tim? So, Tim, if we put E in the end, it will become time. Sam, if we put E in the end, it becomes same. Okay, so it changes the sound of the vowel. All right, it, the, the vowel in Tim is I. When we add silent E, it will become long, time. Sam has vowel A. When we will add E, it will become, the A sound will become long, which is same. So all the words which we did in activity one end with a silent E, okay? I will show you. See, kite end with E. Cake end with E. Page ends with E. Rice ends with E. Home ends with E. Line ends with E. Name ends with E. Rope ends with E. Phone ends with E. So all the words ending with E but we cannot hear the sound of E. Okay? Everybody understood? Please show me your reaction. If you, if you understood, please show me your reaction. Okay, Shazane. Okay, Abdullah. Okay, Anaya. Okay, Emrick. Okay, Arika. Arifa. Okay. Okay, great. That's, that's great. Now come to exercise three. Revision of AI and AY. Read and find three words with a long A sound. Listen to check what letters makes this sound. So I'm going to read out this passage for you. Please listen very carefully. Mr. Gray, let's wait for the train. Stay away from the wet paint. Daisy Gray, there's a snail on the railway. I hate snails. I hate rainy days. Mr. Gray, here comes the train move away snail okay so it's a it's a very uh, cute short little poem which teaches us about a i and a y words for example in the first line wait train away paint okay these are the words with a i and a y a, I, and A, Y has the same sound of long A. 
weight, train, away, paint. Okay. Everybody understood? Please show me your thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Okay, this I told already. Now magic E. The magic E is a silent E. Uh, we also uh, call it magic E also because uh, whenever it is in the word, we cannot hear the sound. So this magical letter sits silently at the end of a word and magically makes the other vowel say its name. Okay, so uh, I already told you that all the words in the exercise number one, they end with silent E. Now we will come to the next slide. AI and AI, AI or an AY words. They have the same, same sound. Of long A. A, I and A, Y has the same sound of long A. Now, this is your homework. Okay. Uh, you have to revise A, I and A, A, Y words. You have to listen to the track 29 and write all the words with A, I and A, Y words in your copies. Okay. So this will be sent to you. I will display this in the end of the lecture. We will move on to the next slide. Come to page 39. How are you feeling? Come to page 39. How are you feeling? Now write in the chat box, how are you feeling today? I want to see your comments in the chat box. How are you feeling today? Everybody write in the uh, chat box. Okay. Abhishek said good. Abhishek said Lizen said fresh. Emrick said happy. Rema said happy. Temur said I feel good. Abdullah said happy. Abdullah, you must be happy. Yesterday you had a party. It was your birthday yesterday. Anmol said happy. Muhammad. Okay, okay. John. Very good. Daim said he feels well. Okay. Okay, all right. So, if you see... In exercise four, how are you feeling? There are pictures of some children. The first picture, there's a girl who is scared. The second picture, there's a boy who is tired. Third picture, there's a girl who's crying, means she's unhappy. In picture four, there's a boy who looks annoyed. So he feels cross. So cross means annoyed, okay? Now in fifth picture, there's a boy who is puzzled, who, who seems like, you know, he, he is, he's just wondering something. And in the picture six, there's a girl who is excited, excited, happy. She's happy about something, okay? So look at the photos. And you can act out a word. You can do this activity at your home, okay? With your uh, brothers and sisters and with your friends. You can act out a word for your partner to guess, okay? Now, all these feelings, whatever uh, uh, the pictures are showing, we call it adjectives, okay? What is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. 
adjectives shows feelings also okay for example just now we saw the girl was scared there was a girl who was excited sometimes we feel hungry how many people how many children feel hungry how many people how many children feel hungry do you feel hungry especially when you are studying yeah show me your thumbs up if you feel hungry okay okay that's great okay so we feel sometimes unhappy also and we feel sometimes annoyed also okay so all these feelings they call adjective so what is an adjective an adjective is a describing verb it describes a noun okay what is a noun noun is a, play, a, per, a name of a person place animal or thing so an adjective is a describing word which describes noun now adjective tells us about noun it tells us about how many it tells us about the size and color it tells us about how you feel it tells us about something that sounds or how a noun looks like or how something behaves so all these things are adjectives okay how many children uh, knows emojis do you have emojis in your phone show me your thumbs up okay 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 so see all these emojis they are showing some feeling angry afraid sick amused bored anxious miserable jealous or envious stupid or confused happy hot surprised loving cold suspicious so they are showing the feelings okay so these feelings whatever we show in our character they are called adjectives okay everybody understood up till here if you have any questions please ask and if you are clear please show me your thumbs up sign okay huria do you want to ask any question you can write in the chat box okay okay that's great so now come to we will go back to page number 39 there is a song there okay i want to is anybody knows this song if you're happy and you know it anybody knows this song if you're happy and you know it Okay Musa Musa is raising his hand Musa can you sing for us Okay wait wait Musa can you sing for us write in the chat box musa if you can sing uh arifa has raised her hand okay so i will unmute you musa and you can sing just wait for a minute Okay when Musa will sing I want everybody to join okay 
Okay. Okay, Musa, you can start now. If you're happy and you're annoyed, clap your hands. If you're clap happy your and you're annoyed, clap your hands. If you're happy and you're annoyed, then you win even a shirt. If you're happy and annoyed, clap your hands. Clap your if hands. Clap your hands. And you really want to show it. If you have to and annoy, clap your hands. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, Musa. Anybody else wants to sing? Musa, please unmute yourself. Anybody else wants to sing? Please raise your hand. Okay, uh, Lizen. Lizen, you want to sing? Okay, I will. I will unmute you. Wait. Okay, now you can sing. If you happy and all say hula hula. If you happy and all say hula hula. And all, and you really want to so if you happy and all, say hula hula. Okay, very good. Good job. Excellent. You can uh, unmute yourself, uh, Lizen. Okay. okay. So I will just uh, read out this song for you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, please unmute yourself. Please mute yourself. Okay. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Make up. Some new verses choose to fill in the spaces. Sing your new verses. So for, uh, for example, here they have given, if you're excited and you know it, shout hooray. If you are tired and you know it, you can sleep. If you are scared and you know it, if you're happy, unhappy and you know it, if you're hungry and you know it. So you can make your own verse over here. And all these things, happy, excited, tired, scared, unhappy or hungry. They shows your feeling. They shows your reactions. Okay. And all these reactions are called adjectives. Okay. So this is all for our class today. I hope everybody understood uh, whatever I have explained. If you have any questions, please you can write in the chat box so I can answer you. Okay, now my voice is clear, Abdullah. My voice is clear to everyone. Okay. Okay, Abneer, A, I, and A, Y words. Okay, in exercise three, A, I, and A, Y words have a long A sound. For example, train. Wait, paint, away, snail, railway, okay? And uh, yeah, train again, days. So A, Y, and A, I has a long A sound. And I will just show you, you can write in your diaries your homework. This is your homework, you have to Listen to track 29 and you have to write all the words with A, I and A, Y in your English B copies. Okay. Aisha, page 39. I just told you that it shows us about feelings. Okay. It shows us about feelings, how we feel, and those, those feelings are called adjectives. 
okay it describes a noun okay okay aisha you understood all right okay i want to take your attendance and i want you guys to give me a nice beautiful and a big smile a good morning smile so that i can take your attendance yes that's more like it good job and can i have this smile one more time a big nice beautiful smile good job one more time that's great that's great okay so all of you have a nice weekend i will see you next week okay take care of yourself stay home and stay safe bye bye everyone bye bye thank you teacher